right, all right. It is Burrito Bandito, Burrito Review Time again. And we are back here uh, close to a couple other spots, but this is actually kind of tucked away down a side street. We are right across from one of these dealerships here, but most, uh, the landmark that you'll probably know is the post office right here on 87th Avenue. Did you put it on your hand? Yes, I wrote it on my hand because... Why don't you just like write it on the bag, the bag of a piece of paper? Mm, my hand was more readily available. I didn't have the bag at the time. That's fair. But this is... Burrito, Bandito, Burrito, Burrito. Mexicana. And we are at 3230 Southwest 87th Avenue. Ooh. Technically in Portland. Right on the border of Beaverton, Portland. La Mexicana. But, oh yeah, Mexicana. La Mexicana. Um, from what I've been told, I was talking, they've almost been here a year. So um, they are definitely tucked in back here. Hard to find if you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, but there's a second truck here. Check that out, little bandito. Uh, I was just talking to the guy and he was saying in a matter of weeks, uh, they're gonna do burgers and sandwiches and wings and all that kind of kind of food. Um, and judging from the science, this food truck now open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So for some of those, lowly characters that I know take a 10 o'clock break um, this might be a good spot to come hit up if you're on this side of town um, but let's get into it first off oh 12 bucks pretty standard pretty standard stuff um, you know folded we'll see what happens little scale folded oh, the scale fo yes. Ooh, wow that feels feels heavy and it's hot so let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. what are you laughing at? Heavy and hot. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Whoa. All right. Get in there, little bandito. Check that out. See what that does for you. See if that blows your skirt up. I don't want your skirts. Mm -hmm. Thanks. God. Why would I? Uh, I don't know. You do you, boo. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, 1.77. That's pretty Ooh, up there, man. Yay. We'll have to see what it is, what it consists of. That's the big question. Come on over here, little bandito. I'm gonna. Why? Because I'm gonna unwrap this bad boy and see what we got going here. Unwrapify it. Oh, yeah. It looks Let's like see. it's glowing. Oh, no. Ooh. I see some beans on the knife. Oh dang, that is some melty, melty beans and cheese. I see some crisp on that tortilla. Yeah, it's hard to see. Little Bandito's got a glare on him, so he's doing the best he can. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, blinded. I'm just gonna take this half. This thing is. Got some I don't dirt. get a. I don't get a say. Heck no, because then you go back and forth all over. The I'm place. not even getting paid for this. You get paid in half a burrito at a time yeah yeah and but when am i going to start getting paid money uh when dave portnoy signs us to the barstool sports uh umbrella that's when um, then we'll be taking it on the road in fact send this to him if anybody knows him send it to him tell him uh he inspired the bandito um yay but it looks like we definitely have rice and beans in here um i do love the melty cheese look to it that looks pretty Tasty. Um, but I'm going to come in hot. Let it wobble. I want to let it wobble. It. Well, good, because I'm letting it wobble, not you. What? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flavors are pretty good. Mm. Now, there's definitely more rice and beans than I prefer. Um, but that being said, 9.999. Oh, God. You're out of control. Just calm down there. 7.99. That is why you're on the camera and not on the whiteboard. Um, what? You, 900? You gotta. You gotta I'm too nice. No, you, uh, 
I'm too you just generous. lack experience, and that comes with time. It, it'll come. Uh, one day, this will all belong to you, sir. <laughs> um, but that being said, the beans and rice flavor is off the hook. Like that is it's off the hook, yo. What? It's off the hook, yo. Yes, that's how Mama makes it. That's how Grandma makes it. Um, Mama. So the flavor's right on. But for me, like I said, too much rice and beans. But um, you know, very tasty for sure. So I'm gonna have to go with seven point two for this guy. Um, pretty good. I mean, nothing to be uh, nothing to be ashamed of there. But um, you know, I got. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy finishing this burrito because the flavors are gonna be off the hook. Um, a little update. I heard through the grapevine that Ein Berliner. Uh, the German food cart that we reviewed uh, earlier, or at the end of last year, or the beginning of this year, I forget when, uh, is moving out to Forest Grove. <gasps> so, all you Forest Grove oh people. Oh my gosh. Close to my heart, uh, because I am Forest Grove's favorite son. But. Not true. They <laughs> she's going to be moving out there. So, for those of you, my friends in the German community, that have been yearning for the good old days when they had good German food in town. This is your chance. I have it on good authority. To the good I actually old go back and check out that review. I reviewed it with my German associate. Uh, Who's that? Jake. Oh. My, my buddy Jake. Jake, not I'm for Are you talking farm. about me. Uh, no, no, no. You weren't there for that. I'm not, I don't think I'm even like 1% German. Mm, not even a little. <laughs> Mostly Mexican and Irish. But... Yeah, I she's moving out to Forest Grove, so keep an eye out for that. We'll do another review out there because I had never had German food before that. We did that review, and it was off the hook. Amazing. So keep an eye out for her. Uh, another update is, uh, well, <sighs> the Bandito is, uh, how do we say, I'm spoken for, if you uh, want to categorize it or put a label on it uh, and my novia lives out in Oregon City so Oregon City watch out I'm gonna be out there try to be out there a little the fact more that you're dating and what the fact that you're dating yes what? That, and, that sounds like you and um, we might be hitting up some Oregon City spots rocking the OC hat today just in case you were wondering uh, but watch out Oregon City the banditos coming for you you better get ready. Um, and so, yeah, come and check out La Mexicana. Uh, flavors are off the hook. Not necessarily the ratios that I like, but you need to get down here, move your booty on down the road. Oh, yeah. And get over here and check this out. And like I said, in a couple weeks, sandwiches, burgers, wings, all that kind of stuff. This is going to be a spot. Because you know what? There's always that kid in the group or the one person that's like, I like Mexican food. And they're weird. But there's something else going to be here for them too. So I think he said it's just a matter of weeks. Uh, because I don't like Mexican food. You are a monster, sir. And you will be dealt with. By <laughs> off, who? Off Concha? Camera, by me. Concha? No, not our wiener dog, Concha. But anyways, come on down. Check them out. 3230 Southwest 87th <laughs> Avenue, um, as it says on the hand. Come and check them out. The hand never lies. Um, tell them that you saw us and that you're here because of us. Hopefully it'll give them a boost. Let's keep supporting small businesses. Keep, uh, keep these kind of places open. So remember, I am the Burrito Bandito, and you're not. And that's our review. 100% Great Grandma Approved.